Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCGB desk, we come up with new video. Today we are talking about in detail about the very important software of CCGB industry. Today we are going to discuss a software name as ICSWE. So basically in this video we are going to discuss with you that what is ICSWE actually is. What are its feature and functions? Then after we will tell you in detail that how you download the software and how you configure the software to make the camera light. This portion we will already cover in earlier version of this video. Now in this video and what you get special and extra that after that after configuration we will tell you each and every option means how you check the recording, how you configure the quality of the camera, how you change the brightness etc. So basically this video is very very interesting and is very important regarding learning point of view. So let us start. ICSWE is a CMS which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your mobile screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on the remote locations over the internet. As far as it features this function, so you can see the multiple channel at a time, you watch the recording of the cameras, you take the snapshot of the video, you save the live view of the camera, you can change the image parameter like color, brightness, etc. You take the backup of the recorded videos and many more. So let us start our practical part that how you do that. For this you should open your browser and search for ICSWE for PC. Okay. Now here you find the top of the list. But here I will I generally prefer this website because it is here you can not only download the file but also you can see the all the procedure that how you can configure. So let download the for PC and just here it will redirect you a page where we have to wait for a, a 10 second after that your file is ready. Now just click on this. Now your file start downloading. Let the file to be finished. Now it is downloaded. Just click on show in folder option. It will redirect to you a download page. Okay, so here is your, is your downloaded file. Just right click and it is on the .zip format. So just right click on the downloaded file and click extract to ICS Pro for PC. When you do this, you find the folder name same as the file name. Just open the folder. Here is our uh, application file or installer file or, or exe file. Just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator. And click yes. Now it is totally. Now here you should change your language like English and click next, again click next, again click next and for the current user you only, for the all user you only you can do choose anything and click next and just wait for a few seconds. Once it is completely installed you get the successful installation message like this okay just click finish. When you do this, you find the CMS icon here. Just click your language English and click OK. And here it asks for a username and password, so you don't need to enter anything. Just click Auto Login and click Save Password and click Login. Now wait for the few seconds. Now this is the interface of the software. So what the first thing you should do? You should go to the option system. So okay, just click on the system. Here you find the device manager. 
and after that you find the lot of options the first thing you should do please don't be confused here because this is little typical software so here you can add just click on zone and click add area here just click any area like a or click ok now a schedule now just click on this a and after that this option become enabled if you click on the zone list disabled so you should click on the a and just get add device when you do this you find a lot of options like IP search, like IPv6 search, add device and many more. So if your system and your device means DVR and VR is on the same network, then what should you do? You should click on the IP search like this. Okay. So here you see that my device comes online. Okay. Now just click on this. And in this way, so you can add the device like this. Okay. Here you find a lot of options like IP address, domain, ASRP, cloud, IPv6, many options. So you, you should take IP address here. And just click on IP search and click your device is here. Just click on that, and after that, you should enter the password. Like in my case, my, please don't be confused. Here it asks for username and password. It is the of the device. Device means the DVR and whatever you are adding. Just click OK. When you do that, your device okay. Here you can change the device name also like you see you put anything which you easily remember like in my case i just put test device and click ok and click ok now in this way just double click on the device just click on any cam now your camera comes online so in this way you can add the device this is the first way this is the first method again go to the system and go to device manager and just click test device and click delete so again just click here and click add device so here i will tell earlier i will tell you that how you can search for ip search and if you want to click if your device is on with then you click on on with search and click like this okay so you can search the on with device okay and if you want to you may see that your device which you already added then you can click on the show added device okay this is the first way and the second way is that you can add manually like close this option and just add device here you didn't find just click ip address just this and here you should enter uh, ip address okay like this and here you should enter the port number so ask for a password just click on the password and do nothing okay here you can test so this is the way to add manually if you know the ip address from where you get this port number and ip address just log in this device means dvr and vr and after that go to the port option go to the network option over there you find this port number and ip address all the things okay now click okay again click ok now just double click on that your camera comes online like this this is the second way ok again just just close the button like this and again go to, to the system and again go to device manager and just click test and delete it ok now again click add device this is the very good option now if you want to add any remote location device and you know the cloud id okay just untick it this and just click on the cloud when you click on the cloud it asks a serial number so you should find a serial number now again the question arises where you do, do you get serial number for that you should go to network option over network option you find a serial number and a qr code also so over that you should find a serial id you should note down that serial id and enter that serial id okay like in my case 
this is my serial id like Okay, now you should select again. You should enter username and password. Please don't be confused again. Again, you should enter the username and password of the device and click OK. Okay, just click OK and just double click on that. Now you see that your camera comes online. This is the way to add a remote location DVR. Okay, so I will tell you a three method of adding. Hope you will understand successfully. That's why I titled this video as a detailed one. Because in this video, we are going to discuss everything. Now, let's come to the interface. I will explain the interface of the this software. Okay. So, here, you should change. You see the lot of option. Like here. Here is the full screen option. Like this. Just press escape button. Is with it go to the normal mode if you have a 36 camera just click on this if a 64 camera just click on this for this you required a lot of bandwidth and you, sh you should have if you have a giga switch network or a giga network then you should do able to display all the channels at a time and just again you will click the single view okay now here you find the audio option just take it and just audio enable increase the audio if your camera is audio enabled you you are clearly see you can, you can clearly hear the voice of the, from the camera okay now this is the way of switching now here you should find the option ptz so if your camera is ptz then you are able to pan tilt and zoom from here you can zoom in zoom out you can focus in focus out all the things you can control you can make preset from here like this here you can make the preset and here you can do the things here you make the tour and just play the button all the things you can manage of the ptz here you find the color option so here you simply change increase the color of the camera like set default and here you can just contrast it everything you can change from here okay just make it default now here you find system now in system you find the option like local config so here is local config from if you Want to record the video then where it will save in the picture you can so this, if you want to record the live view of the camera it can record in here so you can change it also okay and here you can find the alarm setting like if you want to create an alarm just select the device alarm prompt sound here you can change the different kind of sound like video motions if your alarm sound video blind if your video comes down video loss intelligent and device disconnected all the things you you clear okay for example uh, here you find the video loss option then click on the alarm prompt sound and click apply so in this way if your video goes lost you can hear the alarm sound right and i will tell you if how it's happen for example if you disconnect this camera and it will show the alarm okay again click the local config and here you can find the record option from if you want to record then where you want to record let's click the right cam one all all the cams whatever you edit template all the things you can do it from here it's out for a local recording on the system here you find the dns config here you find all the details of the software software version now here you find the remote config option so you should select the device so my device is connected via cloud so that it will take a time and here okay now you can clearly see the record here you find the video loss option here you find all the system option like net service from here you, see, you can see the art like cloud you just click on the cloud and click ok ok here you find the network setting okay all the thing you can 
from here and just back it click cancel here you find the in code your journal setting to so all the you can manage the hard disk from here and here you find the HDD info version when you click on the version you should find the cloud id here you find find the cloud id and it is connected okay so early in this video I, I insert my cloud id so here is my cloud id okay and so you can manage all the thing from here like remote config now just click on the account so this is the administrator account if you want a new new account and give only one cam access then you can do by from your from, from you can add the group you can add the user also for example if i want to add the user just click on from here administrator username password confirm and after that once you once your user is ready just just click on group and click on the administrator one and give whatever you want for example you want to see only one camera then this you can if you want to play back only one camera see the then you can do it from the same from here also so this is all for account setting related information if you have any confusion you comment it below i definitely make a video on that will make you clear okay so here you find the playback option this is very very advanced option I mean, this option you know it very well just click on that this here local playback and remote playback so here you find the local playback here you find the remote remote playback is for the device for example test device and again just click cam2 and by name by time okay now here you all the videos and now you can date time from here and here you time like for example if you want to check the recording of the 24 just click and here you can just play just click search if they have and you should select the camera at least okay so in this way you can just play you can download the file so in this way you can check the recording of the camera okay so i and just close this button and after that you found the option advance here you can offer the map to decoder this this is not very much useful regarding a uh, device point of view now right click of the, of the uh, on the screen okay and here you found the option local record just click on the local record and just in this way you can record the here you find the start talk for example snapshot just click on this in this way you can take the snapshot okay like this and if you have camera two way audio and you want to communicate with them just click on this and in this way you can two way audio communicate with your device here you find the color setting like all the option like i will tell you that brightness color all the things you can manage from here okay like i already tell you that earlier but here from also you can do the same now here you found the option device config again this will direct to device config so you can access all the thing that you access the same thing from dvr okay so all the thing you can access like you are playing with a dvr so this is very good option this option is very good you will know no well remote config or just right click on the cam and click on the this device config option so this will redirect you to a page where you just feel that you are operating a dvr okay that's the most feature i like and everything you, you can do it from here so that's all for this video thanks for watching thank you have a nice day